so for the outer function, the outer structure here is a structure f as a function of u equals u squared. And in this problem, we're actually going to have a composition of three functions. So we have sort of a middle function here. And the middle function I'll write as g of v equals sine of v. And then the innermost function I'll write as j of x equals 6x. Now it might look strange that the outer function here is a u squared function. And if that looks strange, I want to just point out that sine squared of 6x could be rewritten as sine of 6x whole thing squared. And so the outer structure really is a something squared sort of structure. The sort of middle function is a sine of v sort of thing, and the innermost function is uh, j of x equals 6x. And so we'll need the derivatives of f and g and j. So let's look at those. So f as a function of u is u squared, and so f prime is 2u. g of v is sine of v, and so g prime of v is cosine of v. And finally, j of x is 6x, and so j prime of x is 6. And now we can go back to the original problem and put it all together. So we are working on differentiating sine squared of 6x. And I'm going to write that as sine of 6x whole thing squared so we can focus on this structure with an outer structure of something squared. So let me also write down the chain rule for a composition of three functions so we can have it as a reference here. So we are trying to take the derivative of f of g of j of x. So we're trying to differentiate that. And the chain rule tells us that we will get f prime evaluated at g of j of x times g prime evaluated at j of x. I want to also clean up my time symbol there. OK, so times g prime evaluated at j of x times j prime of x. And so let's carry this out on this composition of three functions. So again, the outer structure is f as a function of u equals u squared. Derivative is 2u. And so we have 2u, but we're evaluating this at sine of 6x. So we have 2 sine of 6x. It's like I'm replacing u by sine of 6x times, by the chain rule, we're up to the g prime of j of x. g prime of v is cosine of v, but we're evaluating this at v equals 6x. So we'll have cosine of 6x times, by the chain rule, j prime of x. j prime of x is 6. And that essentially is our result. But let's simplify things a bit. And then again, I want to walk back through this. So the 2 times 6 is a 12. And so we have 12 sine of 6x cosine of 6x. And that's our final result. And now let's walk back through it. So we had sine of 6x, whole thing squared. So it was like stuff squared. And so the derivative of the stuff squared is 2 times the stuff, so 2 times sine of 6x, times, by the chain rule, the derivative of the stuff. So we're faced with differentiating sine of 6x. Derivative of sine of 6x is cosine of 6x times 6, by the chain rule. And so we get 2 sine of 6x times cosine of 6x times 6. 
and then we just simplify things and get our result of 12 sine of 6x cosine of 6x. And so that completes this tutorial, and there are a couple more examples that you could look at if you want to see further examples of the chain rule.